Hello and welcome to next Selenium tutorial. So today we are going to discuss about Blue and White in Selenium Web Driver. So in previous video we have discussed what is explicit weight, right? So Blue and White and explicit weight both are similar. There is no difference between this implicit weight and Blue and White. All right. So let us see the definition of Blue and White. Uh, so if you go to the uh, Blue and White document. Uh, you can see over here it's uh, coming from support.ui so in this package you can see over here uh, a web driver weight as well as fluent weight so if you open your fluent weight so you can see over here it is directly extending from object class and if you see the definition an implementation of the weight interface that may have its timeout and polling interval configured on the fly so on the fly means you can customize the maximum wait time and what is the interval that we can pull to your DOM element and what is the exception you can handle it. So that is the meaning of your configured on the fly. So the more understanding that we can get from this statement is each play and wait instance defines the maximum amount of time to wait for the condition as well as the frequency with which to check the condition. This is the polling time and this is the maximum time that we have to wait for and one more condition is what is the exception that we can ignore also so you can define any uh, exception to ignore so here mostly we will be using no such element exception only so this is the fluent weight right so if you go to web driver weight that is explicit weight you can see over here uh, fluent weight is extending from object class directly and web driver weight is extending from fluent weight right so we can say explicit weight is little advanced than fluent weight where in web driver weight we cannot customize your polling time it is already inbuilt it is already configured with overload methods with your fluent weight. but in fluent weight we can customize everything so that is the one advantage with fluent weight so if you have not watched my uh, explicit weight already that i have posted please watch that video to get some idea on how explicit weight will work so if you have that idea then fluent weight is going to be much simpler than explicit weight right let's copy the uh, same code uh, both will be both will work in the similar way there is no difference right let's copy the same and let's see the uh, syntax uh, with fluent weight how we can understand the fluent weight right so what we are going to do now, right now right so let's take the facebook uh, login page so right now uh, we'll click on this button create new account button and this page will open so what we are going to do right so let's type over here as uh, my name that is on this so and then we'll close it so this is the action that we are going to perform so the moment you click on this script will look for this input text box so that is what we are going to do right now right okay so let's see uh, so this is the click method and that is the first button that clicks so here in the previous video we have used a web driver but this is explicit weight so right now what we are going to do we are going to replace this statement with fluent weight right so we're getting exception over here legal and here let us use this so what we have done also so i if we need to use outside the method okay. so let us comment this part and then let's use web driver fluent page Let's copy the syntax from the fluent weight. Over here. And paste it over here. So this weight is from uh, import from uh, support.ui and the fluent weight also from the same package what we have seen here. This is selenium.support.ui and here uh, this this is going to be a time unit.seconds. So time unit should be imported from your Java package. So from concurrent, same goes over here. This is seconds. 
and import from selenium no such element exists so here it is deprecated because uh, uh, we have overloaded method with the uh, time duration so let's remove this and let us put duration from java and what what is the maximum time we wanted to wait of seconds so here i'm going to give 20 seconds and the same goes for your polling as well this is the syntax let's understand the syntax first and here i i want to milliseconds what is the milliseconds i want to every 500 milliseconds i want to wait right so it is not necessary that we have to use the same syntax over here so what are we have used in the explicit wait uh, like wait dot until this is the expected condition same we can use using that so i'm going to use the same so it is not uh, necessary you can just uh, ignore this uh, syntax and you can use the simplified version like this so using this wait so it is taking the until condition right so and then what i what this will return this will return web element this is going to be web element and the end we can try sending the value that what we wanted to do just type it right so let's understand the syntax over here so this is the fluent bit it comes from this package right so what what exactly these three statement mean so with the timeout what is the maximum timeouts you want to wait over here so here duration right you can give any duration here i have taken the seconds but you can take anything so you can see over here it's so you can take days hours millis or minutes nanoseconds or seconds and seconds with the and an adjustment so anything you can take it so better we can go for a seconds because other times right so we might not be using if you're going for microseconds or nanoseconds it will, it, it will not help uh, for us to use your fluent weight and if you are going for hours it will not be helpful for our uh, script right when you are executing test cases if you are waiting for hours one hour for one web element what will happen right your uh, browser itself will a session will itself will time out and your application will not accept your application will be timed out so it's better use seconds so what's the maximum timeout you want to wait for the particular web element right and so polling uh, every so what is the interval that you want to check in the DOM DOM uh, elements? Say for example, for this particular web element, it will appear after uh, five seconds, right? right? So in that case, what you can do, you can uh, use your uh, seconds in that case, right? Or this may appear in any uh, time in milliseconds or something like that. Then you can pull the DOM every that particular. Uh, time so in that case what we can do you can use uh, millis as well right this is this means like it's a milliseconds so if when it is polling to your dom what is the exception you wanted to ignore right so mostly it, go, it is going to be a no such element exception and uh, you can use any exception there is no restriction over here uh, to handle your exception right so this exactly matches with your uh, explicit weight so explicit wait also takes the maximum time out but what happens this one right internally they have handled using web driver wait class is polling a time and ignoring what is the exception right so web driver a wait will ignore no such element exception right internally by default it will ignore no such element exception and this this web driver wait will poll every 500 millisecond internally so that is what we have seen over here right so uh, web driver weight extends from fluent weight right so that's what they they made some advanced uh, version of web driver weight right? the same explicit weight goes for fluent weight as well there is no difference actually so here user can customize what is the polling time what is the exception they wanted to handle it but in web driver we cannot do that it's everything is already internally built so we cannot handle those and we cannot customize it so this is the actual difference there is no other difference you can find using your fluent weight as well as your explicit weight. there is no complete uh, difference this is the only difference in fluent weight you can customize but in explicit weight you cannot customize apart from your maximum blocking time right so rest everything will remain same we can use the same code and it will execute perfectly fine 
right so let's with with time with fluent weight let's execute first and without time well, let's execute right so better uh, run run this uh, let's check whether yeah we have given the right export let's try running now so we have given uh, 20 uh, seconds maximum blocking time on and polling every 500 milliseconds which means 40 times in 20 seconds it will poll we are down right so the element right it immediately available within two seconds so you can see over here the uh, blocking time periods right so this is the explicit way in the previous video i have explained let's take for fluent right? this is perfectly fine working the working code with maximum time of 20 seconds 500 milliseconds of dom uh, polling time so here two seconds it took to find out the uh, this web element so it polls dom four times so every one minute it pulls two two times so it took two seconds to find out the element so which means it it is polling four times and ignoring this no such element exception right so this is how it works now let us try uh, with invalid x path so this time what happens right this has to throw an exception because we have given invalid x path right so and it has to wait all whole 20 seconds with 20 seconds 40 times it has to poll right so it has to poll 40 poll 40 times poll polling to down and this is the max blocking time right and this will be ignoring Right. So it, it will not find the web element because we have given invalid uh, X path and it has to wait until complete 20 seconds with 40 times pulling to down and it has to throw the exception. Right. Let us try running it. So here we are running the invalid case to check our flame rate whether how it goes fine. Right. So now it is it appears but it is looking for the invalid x path that it is looking for that is the first name on x path so it will wait for 20 seconds it will its blocking time is 20 seconds so it will wait the whole 20 seconds after 20 seconds it is throwing the exception let us see the what is the exception it has uh, thrown so if you have seen my previous video with the explicit weight the same exception you would have noticed right so that is no such element exception that is what first 20 seconds it will be ignoring right. so first 20 seconds it will ignore no such element exception right and then it will throw no such element exception and internally what will happen this timeout exception will, will appear why this timeout exception will appear because we have given for 20 seconds after expiring this 20 seconds it will throw a exception for timeout exception within this particular 20 seconds we could not find this this element so that's why it is throwing this timeout exception right let us see whether it is waited for complete or 20 seconds right you can see over here from 15 uh, 15th second to 35th second it was waiting for so 25 to 35 right so it is 20 seconds completely it, is, it was waiting for the the element which we have given to appear right this element so that's why it was throwing the error right so this is like completely like implicit weight and explicit weight and uh, your fluent weight right so fluent weight and your explicit weight there is no difference only difference is you can customize your fluent weight but with explicit weight we cannot customize but the functionality will be same there is no difference at all between your fluent weight as well as your explicit weight right so the documentation giving you the uh, syntax like this right so the function we we have to use like this so it is not necessary for you to use the same but you can use the same or still it uh, it will throw the fluent weight exception only right so you, you can see over here right it is uh, throwing the exception from the fluent weight itself right this is coming from your uh, 
selenium itself so that is fluent weight right if you would have noticed from a explicit weight right it would have uh, thrown the exception from your uh, web driver weight dot until method but this is the this is coming from fluent weight right so you can use this simplified uh, version of this until with ex uh, expected conditions and you can watch my previous video with explicit weight as well to understand complete holistic idea on how explicit weight will work and what is the expected condition and how can we use your until method the complete definition of this until method how it works what is the return value of this until method why it is giving the web element everything i have clearly explained in this explicit uh weight uh video in my previous video right so that's all from this video guys if you love watching my video please like my video and if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and colleagues to share knowledge thanks for watching guys thank you